It's the most powerful iPhone 5S we've ever seen. Just kidding, it's the brand new iPhone SE. We got it and we're tearing it down. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and if you've ever taken apart an iPhone 5S, the process of getting into the SE is going to look very similar to you. Remove screws, eyes clack open, and disconnect the Touch ID cable. As we're tearing down the SE in one room, we're also testing to see what 5S parts are compatible with the SE in another. And it turns out the 5S display is plug and play in the SE. Fitment, connectors, and functionality are the same. It fires right up. This means replacement parts and guides are already available. With the display off, we set to work on getting the battery out. This battery has a slightly larger capacity than the one found in the 5S, coming in at 6.21 watt hours and 1,624 milliamp hours. 5S owners shouldn't get excited about the possibility of supercharging their older phones though, since it turns out the SE's battery has a different style connector. The SE got a bump in resolution to 12 megapixels, but the pixel pitch has gotten slightly smaller, measuring in at 1.22 micrometers, down from 1.5 micrometers found in the 5S. The SE's camera specs are the same as the iPhone 6S, but alas, they are not interchangeable. Out comes the vibrator, speaker, SIM card, and tray, all of which are interchangeable with those from the 5S. With those out of the way, we were able to spot some foamy silicone seals surrounding some, but not all, of the Logic Fork connectors. The front camera, volume controls, and rear camera connectors all got the fancy waterproof treatment, while the LCD, digitizer, battery, and lightning connector cables all seemingly go without. The SE got a considerable upgrade in processing power compared to the 5S. It sports the Apple A9 system on chip with 2 gigabytes of SK Hynix LP DDR4 RAM, 16 gigabytes of Toshiba made NAND flash, and the same NXP NFC controller and charging IC seen in the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. We've come to the end of our teardown and now it's time to turn our thoughts towards repairability. How did the iPhone SE score? It got a six out of 10 and here's why. On the upside, the display assembly is the first component out of the phone, simplifying screen replacements. And the battery is fairly easy to access, even though it's not technically user replaceable. But on the downside, the Touch ID cable could be easily ripped out of its socket if the user is not careful when opening the phone. The iPhone SE still uses pentalobe screws on the exterior, making it difficult to open. And that's our teardown. For the complete teardown, including tons of beautiful, high quality images and some awesome x-rays from Creative Electron, head on over to ifixit.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos. You can follow us on Twitter at ifixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.